My name is Elias Lopin. I'm an expert and dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com where you have access to over 6,800 items at the time of the making of this film. Every item I sell comes complete with a beautiful certificate of authenticity, of course a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, my signature. I've identified over 28,000 authentic coins and artifacts over the years. The coin comes specifically in a beautiful coin flip, it's a professional numismatic grade that protects it for future generations to come, yet makes it easy for you to look at the coin with a miniaturized description that matches the number and the certificate. So you could take this part off and you know carry it around with you, show it to people. Uh, the description is done very professional, professionally, which comes complete many times with uh, it's references to major numismatic collections or uh, references. And in the back, you have the historical context of the item you have purchased. So even if you're brand new to, to the collecting field, I have so much to, uh, to pick from. Uh, you can get educated right there on my site. Plus, I, I believe wholeheartedly that this is a great investment because I believe that numismatic coins are just going to go up in value over time. So visit my site for that. Today, I'm going to be discussing Roman Emperor Crispus. Or the, you could say, not, he didn't become emperor, but you could say he became he was a prince or a Caesar of the time. That, this is what Crispus looked like. He was the son of Constantine the Great. He was also a very good general and uh, did a lot of other things. So now to his history. I have uh, coins of Crispus in my store, by the way, so you may want to search that. Flavius Julius Crispus, who died in 326 AD, was a Caesar of the Roman Empire. Caesar pretty much means uh, as a prince before becoming an emperor. Caesar is, you become a Caesar before you become an Augustus. Augustus is the full title of emperor and Caesar is somebody that you could say is a prince. When he was born, uh, his father served as a hostage in the court of Eastern Roman Emperor Diocletian in Nicomedia. In 307, Constantine allied to the Italian Augusti, and their alliance was sealed in the marriage of Constantine to Fausta, daughter of Maximian and sister of Maxentius. Crispus was raised by his father in Gaul. Constantine even entrusted his education to Lactantius, among the most important Christian teachers of that time. By 313, there were two remaining Augusti in control of the Roman Empire. Constantine reigned as a Western Roman Emperor and his brother-in-law Licinius as an Eastern Roman Emperor. On 1st of March 317, the two co-reigning Augusti jointly proclaimed three new Caesars. Crispus along, alongside his younger half-brother Constantine II and his, and his first cousin Licinius Jr. Constantine appointed Crispus as commander of Gaul. The new Caesar soon held resistance in Augusta Treverorum, modern-day Trier, regional capital of Germania. In January 322, Crispus was married to a young woman called Helena. Helena bore him a son on, in October 322 AD. Constantine was proud of his son and was very pleased to become a grandfather. Crispus was a leader in victorious military operations against the Franks and the Alemanni in 318, 320, and 323 AD. Thus, he secured the continued Roman presence in the areas of Gaul and Germania. Crispus jointly his father with visiting Rome during 322 and received the warmest and most enthusiastic welcome of the crowds. The soldiers adored him thanks to his strategic abilities and the victories to which he had led the Roman legions. Crispus spent the following years assisting Constantine in the war against uh, the, the then hostile Licinius. In 324, Constantine appointed Crispus as commander of his fleet, by which he left Port of Piraeus to confront the rival fleet of Licinius. The subsequent battle of Hellespont was fought in at the Straits of Bosphorus. The 200 ships under the command of Crispus managed to utterly beat the enemy forces, which were at least double in number. Thus, Crispus achieved his first important and difficult victory, which further established his reputation as a brilliant soldier and general. 
Following his Navy activities, Crispus was assigned part of the legions loyal to his father. The other part was commanded by Constantine himself. Crispus led the legions assigned to him in another victorious battle outside of Chrysopolis against the armies of Licinius. The two victories were his contribution to the final triumph of his father over Licinius. Constantine was the only Augustus left in the empire. He honored his son for his support and successes by depicting his face in imperial coins, statues, mosaics, cameos, etc. Crispus was the most likely choice for an heir to the throne at the time. His siblings Constantine II, Constantius II, and Constance were far too young and inexperienced. In 326, Crispus' life came to a sudden end on his father's orders. He was tried by a local court at Pola, Istria, condemned to death and executed. Soon afterwards, Constantine had his own wife, Fausta, killed. She was suffocated in an overheated bath. The reasons for these acts remain unclear. Visit my site, TrustedCoins.com, to buy coins of Crispus and Constantine the Great and all others beyond. TrustedCoins.com